Welcome back to the channel, guys. My name is Gordon. We are back with another video. Today, we're talking about AI agents on blockchain technology. As always, if you enjoy this video, please make sure to smash that thumbs up button below. Hit subscribe. We're on the road to our first 100K subscribers and grab your free copy of the Rise of Bitcoin in the description below this video. Get it below and let's talk about Sunday Bar. Okay, guys, super quickly before we get into the video, we are doing a one tau giveaway here in January. Once again, all you have to do to be in with a chance to win one tau by the end of this month, less than two weeks away, all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel. So subscribe below and drop a comment under this video, naming your favorite subnet in the BitTensor ecosystem. Hey guys, so jumping into Sunday Bar, what exactly is Sunday Bar and what are AI agents? Well, Sunday Bar is decentralized generalist AI agents for enterprise businesses. Effectively, that means they're creating an AI agent that's going to allow you to incorporate it as a companion into your daily workflow to optimize processes and make you much more efficient. So Sunday Bar are building one continuously improving generalist AI agent designed for doing real business work. You can see a number of different use cases on their homepage here. We'll touch on the use cases in just a moment for all these AI agents, but you might be asking yourself, what even are AI agents and why is this different to using something like ChatGPT? Well, AI agents, like what Sunday Bar are creating, are autonomous digital workers and they are not chatbots or co-pilots similar to what you might have been using up until now with tools like ChatGPT or Claude. So the idea here is that agents can ultimately have all of this memory and context surrounding your specific task specific role within your uh, enterprise business, or maybe it's your own uh, startup or your own business, the agent itself is able to understand all the context around your role, train itself up, and ultimately be a companion for you in your daily workflow. So that is the key difference here. And ultimately, there's a whole bunch of different AI agent use cases. We're looking at the likes of marketing, sales, coding, HR, and many, many more. And just for example, maybe you're someone who is an SEO analyst within a large corporation. What you can use Sunday Bar and AI agents for is creating SEO optimized titles, meta descriptions, and much, much more. So the agent is going to be able to parse, let's say, all the blog posts on your specific company website and proactively make suggestions about optimizing meta descriptions or updating certain ancillary keywords that you're trying to rank for. I'm just giving you an example here of one use case, but ultimately you could be a sales professional and you'll be able to have context and memory with your AI agent so that every single day when you log in, it's serving you up proactive updates, contextual tasks, and ultimately making your workflow much more efficient so you can get more done in less time. So I think we're moving into a world and accelerating into a world where AI agents are going to be baked into everybody's daily workflow. In fact, Gartner predicts that 40% of enterprise applications will feature task-specific AI agents here in 2026. That is a huge up, a uh, huge increase uh, from less than 5% in 2025. And if you're asking me, I think this number is going to be closer to 60 or 80% in just a couple of years. I think so many people are going to be using um, AI agents as part of their daily workflows. We're already seeing how efficient ChatGPT and other basic chatbots can make us. Imagine when all of these agents have so much more context and memory around your specific tasks and what you do on a daily basis. And that is one of the strategic advantages, I think, of Sunday Bar. To touch on those two key points very, very quickly, you know, Sunday Bar's agents retain all of that memory and context. So, you know, historically speaking, with the likes of ChatGPT, it sometimes forgets that memory and context, and you have to feed it a whole bunch of context once again if you want to begin a new conversation or begin a new task. And so, um, more so in the past, that was the case, but now what you have with these agents is they remember all of the context. If you're an SEO analyst, it's going to go and train itself on being an extremely efficient SEO analyst. And that will also come back to the model underpinning the AI agent itself, which is thanks to BitTensor's incentive layer. So it will retain all the memory and context, but then obviously what the miners are able to do with Sunday Bar, and this may not even be known to the end user, but 
what's happening behind the scenes is the power of the BitTensor incentive layer means that the results and the skills that the agent can perform um, are being measured by open objective evaluation. And ultimately, this results in the most performant agents because you have decentralized miners competing against each other, serving up newer and better versions of the generalist agent every single day. This is a competitive, open um, protocol where miners are ultimately incentivized to create best in class um, outputs for the generalist agent. And I can't stress that enough. If you're already familiar with BitTensor, you can understand this at a fundamental level, but that translates into the end agent being ultimately best in class regardless of what kind of context and memory you want to end up feeding it. And then Sunday Bar, when I spoke with the founder, Jill, and developer, Ollie, you can check out that interview on my channel. They were telling me that ultimately, because of the incentive layer that is BitTensor, this model is going to be improving super efficiently every single day. And then the end product for the end user is going to be so much better compared to something that these centralized companies could actually do. So because developers are competing to make the same agent better, accelerating progress beyond what any single company can achieve alone is literally what's happening behind the scenes. It is the power of decentralized technology. And like I said, that may not even be known to the end user, but BitTensor um, is ultimately going to result in the most performant agents measured by open objective evaluation. So I can't stress that enough because ultimately, once we see this happening at scale, it's going to make the results driven AI agents so much more efficient with helping you in your daily workflow. Okay. Ultimately, um, if I jump over here to the back end, you can check this out yourself. Anyone can become a miner technically on Sunday Bar, and full disclosure, they are yet to fully launch on the BitTensor mainnet, but they will be launching soon. Like I said, check out that video interview I did with Jill and Ollie. It's on my channel. If you want to do a deeper dive and learn more about Sunday Bar specifically, they are very open, very transparent about the roadmap and what they're building. And it all sounds very, very exciting. But you can ultimately sign in here and start um, using this basic AI agent and ultimately start using their backend interface. Anyone can become um, a miner, like I said, it is open source. You have the ability to contribute and start um, competing against other miners in a decentralized fashion once everything goes live. And businesses will ultimately be able to customize the agent at sundaybar.ai and deploy it as a highly practical enterprise ready tool. Like I said, think about all the different use cases. You know, I gave the SEO example, I gave the sales agent example, but there's so many different agents that you could be ultimately incorporating into your workflow, whether you're a startup founder or a business owner, or you are an SEO analyst or sales agent in a large enterprise corporation, the back end infrastructure that is the BitTensor incentive layer is going to be producing phenomenal agents on the Sunday bar subnet. So this is very exciting to see that customization coming to fruition. And like I said, highly practical enterprise ready tools being put into the hands of many, many users. And one of the things Jill hinted at in the interview was the fact that these guys have a number of large enterprise clients lined up. She wasn't able to say who, she wasn't able to say when, but ultimately when this thing is ready to go live, they do have a number of large enterprise clients that are ready to start adopting the Sunday bar AI agent. So like I said, guys, I'm going to leave a link in the description for sundaybar.ai. I want to leave you with two other things that you can start to think about here over the next few weeks. We have seen the price action for Sunday Bar perform phenomenally over the past number of months. I know we're, we've had a little bit of a correction here since the highs in November, but just going back to September, we're still up over 500% in the price of the Sunday Bar Alpha token. And simply from holding and exposing yourself to the Sunday Bar Alpha token, you're earning 77% staking APY. So just keep that in mind. It is one of the more lucrative subnets when it comes to that staking APY. And given we've had a pullback here, may not be a bad entry point because we found a bottom and started moving up. Of course, nothing in this video is financial advice, guys. Always do your own research from a fundamental and technical perspective, but I'll leave a link to sundaybar.ai in the video description for you 
to check. That is it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed that breakdown of Sunday Bar. Once again, make sure to check out the interview with Jill on the channel. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to smash that thumbs up button right under my finger. Hit subscribe, hit that bell notification icon, and don't forget to grab your completely free copy of The Rise of Bitcoin in the description, and we'll catch you in the next one.